Based on what Elon Musk recently said in an investor's conference call, Tesla has pivoted away from their ambitious plans to completely revolutionize the way their next generation of more affordable vehicles will be manufactured, meaning their unboxed process won't be fully implemented, at least just yet. Stick around as I discuss Tesla's pivot, why I believe it's actually a good thing, and what Elon Musk said about Tesla's upcoming new vehicles. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. During Tesla's 2023 Investor Day held on March 1st last year, their new unboxed manufacturing process was unveiled, which was supposed to revolutionize the way their new, more affordable vehicles would be manufactured. Essentially, this process would allow for various sub-assemblies to be assembled separately and then all brought together, combining parallel and serial assembly processes. This more efficient process combined with other improvements was supposed to make a 50% reduction in the cost of manufacturing possible. Now I do wanna point out that this complete unbox process is really just a further evolution of their current process with their structural battery pack, which they use right now in the Tesla Cybertruck. They do use a structural battery pack in that vehicle that has the seats, carpeting, and other interior parts attached to the battery pack assembly separately, and then that assembly is lifted up and bolted into the vehicle frame. Tesla's unbox process would have basically taken this to a whole new level, not only doing a structural battery pack, I assume, an assembly with a battery pack, which had the interior components connected to it, but the front and rear assemblies would have been assembled separately and the side assemblies as well. So apparently Tesla's not going to do all of that, but as we'll go into here, as I move into Elon Musk's exact comments, Tesla apparently will use some of these innovations in their new vehicles, just not the whole unboxed process. With that being said, on this topic, here's what Elon Musk recently said in their investors conference call. We've updated our future vehicle lineup to accelerate the launch of new vehicles ahead. Previously mentioned start of production in the second half of 2025. So we expect it to be more like the early 2025, if not late this year. These new vehicles, including more affordable models, will use aspects of the next generation platform, as well as aspects of our current platforms, and will be able to produce on the same manufacturing lines as our current vehicle lineup. So it's not contingent upon any new factory or massive new production line. It will be made on our current production lines much more efficiently. And we think this should allow us to get to over 3 million vehicles of capacity when realized to the full extent. So once again, instead of a completely new unboxed process, their new vehicles, and I'll discuss shortly what type of vehicles these are expected to be, but instead Elon Musk made clear that these new vehicles, quote, will be made on our current production lines and, quote, will use aspects of the next generation platform as well as aspects of our current platforms. So basically what I expect with Tesla's new platform is a front and rear giga casting like Tesla does with the Model Y and the Cybertruck. And I expect that it'll have a structural battery pack, probably with lithium iron phosphate batteries. As for other innovations, I expect that Tesla will have improvements in the wiring, reductions in the wiring because Tesla has been working on that. It's also possible that the front and rear giga castings could incorporate more and more components than they do now. Now, I do want to be clear that I don't believe that Tesla's unboxed process is gone forever. I do believe that that could happen still in the future, but Tesla has pivoted away from that, at least for now. Tesla has been doing a lot of things lately to reduce their cost, including letting go a portion of their workforce to save costs there. Also, in the past, they massively delayed the construction of Gigafactory Mexico, choosing instead to build their new vehicles, at least at first, at Gigafactory Texas. That, of course, saves a huge amount of money because building out a new factory and ramping that up and getting that staffed is extremely expensive. And Tesla decided to delay that just a little bit and develop the new vehicles at Gigafactory Texas as well. This not only allows for a faster production of the vehicle, but also a much lower cost of manufacturing at first. And it allows them to really kind of work out 
the details before they move that over to Gigafactory Mexico. I still believe that'll happen in the future, but it's likely not going to happen for several more years. While it's not quite as exciting, I believe it's actually the right decision right now for Tesla to, instead of completely redesigning the manufacturing process and just jumping full in on this new generation of vehicles. I believe that it makes a lot more sense for them to do kind of what they've done in the past and just to incorporate more and more efficiencies into their current manufacturing processes. I think a good analogy is how Tesla built the Model Y off of the Model 3 platform basically, but they made quite a few changes and structurally that vehicle, especially now, is quite different. Of course, the Model Y has front and rear Giga castings, but the Model 3 does not. Although they were sort of built on the same platform and they initially shared a lot of parts, the Model Y is a big step change of efficiency when it comes to manufacturing over the Model 3. So Tesla is no stranger to improvements of even big components under the vehicle as they go. And really, I believe that's what will happen with this new platform. The initial version one will be a step change above what they do with the Cybertruck efficiencies and the Model Y that used to have the structural battery pack. That's of course not being manufactured right now, but Tesla will take that process, make that more efficient. And then eventually when they build out Gigafactory Mexico, I believe that could even be taken to the next level and be a step more towards that unbox process if they haven't completely gotten there by then. If vehicle demand had not been slowing down just a little bit right now, Tesla may not have had to make this pivot, but this pivot does make sense right now in the current environment and Tesla can bring these new vehicles to market at a much quicker pace by not completely reinventing the manufacturing process. In addition, when it comes to the finished vehicles, it's not as if the finished vehicles are going to be any less great. They just may not be quite as efficient as Tesla wanted them to be when it comes to the manufacturing process. It's still going to be more efficient, I believe, to manufacture these vehicles than their current vehicles. Of course, that's going to be important to keep the cost very low, but the vehicles themselves, I believe, will still be amazing. We're just going to see them a little quicker. With these comments that Elon Musk recently made in the investors conference call, this does really help provide context to an article that Reuters did recently report. And you may have seen this article that came out in April, but Reuters claimed that Tesla had canceled their compact vehicle altogether. Now it's obvious that the vehicle itself was not canceled, but there was a major pivot in how the vehicle would be made. So their compact vehicles apparently not canceled like this article seemed to claim, but the original way that they wanted to manufacture it has been scrapped for now. With that being said, I now want to discuss the new vehicles that Elon Musk referred to and what those possibly may be, what categories and what we can expect. So specifically, Elon Musk referenced, quote, these new vehicles, including more affordable models. So it's clear here that we're referring to more than just a robo taxi, but new vehicles, plural. And when it comes to a clue of what these vehicles may be, we need to go back to this investor day slide from 2023. And you can see here that Tesla had two vehicles here under wraps. And you can see here what looks like a delivery van of sorts. And of course, what looks like to be more of a compact vehicle there to the far right. So what I expect from Tesla is a dedicated robo taxi that of course we know that's going to be unveiled on August 8th. So coming up pretty soon, not only with a dedicated robo taxi, but I believe Tesla will also have a compact hatchback or smaller SUV that will likely be on the same platform as the robo taxi. And then I believe there's also going to be some kind of delivery van of sorts that Tesla is going to unveil. Not only will Tesla be able to use this in their own operations for their mobile service vans, but there's a good market that Tesla can fill with a good delivery van. And I believe that's going to come in the near future as well. Maybe these products will be unveiled on August 8th as well, or at least a mention of them and some basic details of these vehicles. That's what I expect. Now, in the end, while this news of Tesla kind of pivoting away from this unboxed process is not as exciting to fans of Tesla like you 
and I. In the end, the general consumer doesn't really care if a vehicle is built with an unboxed process or not. As long as Tesla can get the cost down low enough so the vehicle is affordable, and as long as they bring out a vehicle that is on par with the quality of the vehicles that they have right now when it comes to technology features and just overall aesthetics of the vehicles, as long as they can produce a vehicle that really is on par with that, of course, dialed back a little bit for the more affordable models, you can't expect all the same features with a more affordable vehicle than their regular vehicles. But nonetheless, as long as Tesla can do that, the consumer doesn't really care if it's built with an unboxed process. It just matters what you get for the price. And I believe Tesla will deliver great vehicles on that because they have in the past and their vehicles are amazing. And also in the short term for cash flow and profitability, this pivot makes a lot of sense. And with vehicles that will be mass produced, the cost of the ramp and cost of delays of a ramp would be extremely magnified beyond anything that Tesla has done so far. So it does appear like Tesla is making the wise decision here and uh, making a safer bet by going with kind of a more proven process with some improvements upon that process. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, what do you think these new vehicles, plural, that Elon Musk referred to will be? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support is really important and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.